In this video, I would like to talk about something that is not only extremely important in decision making, but is also very very simple. It is actually called simplification, and unfortunately, many of us do not use it to its full potential. If you think about it, as human beings, we only have a certain amount of energy every day, which includes mental energy. If you recall, at the beginning of this course, we discussed our two systems of decision making. System 1 is intuitive and quick, while System 2 is controlled, slow and logical. System 2 is important when making high stakes decisions. Unfortunately, we don't have always enough time to devote this much energy and thought to things. We make many many decisions every day, many of which need to be made quickly in order to be efficient. An important way to achieve simplification is to minimize the number of decisions we make on a daily basis. When you think about it, we make so many insignificant decisions every day, such as what to wear, what to eat for breakfast, what music to listen to on the way to work, etc. All of these things may seem small, but they add up throughout the day and take away from what I call our capacity for decision making. We have a limited capacity for decision making each day, and these small decisions drain it. If you are making fewer decisions in a day, it is easier to devote time and energy to the important ones. This works using two concepts, automation and elimination. Automation works by already having a plan for what you will eat, where, etc. so you can just do those things and not put so much thought into it. By automating certain decisions, you are doing a couple of things. You are saving your time and capacity for decision making for more important things and you are actively planning. When you are planning, you tend to make better decisions. For example, if you plan out what you will eat for breakfast each day this week, you are more likely to make sure you eat something healthy. Decisions based on plans are much more likely to be more beneficial to us as opposed to spare of the moment decisions. Automation can also be useful in other tasks. For example, one of the advantages of buying a house is that you automate your savings in the form of building equity in the house. You automatically make your mortgage payment every month and in the long run you benefit from it. Elimination works a bit differently. I am always shocked at how much I can eliminate from my life without sacrificing my happiness or benefits. For example, when I grew up we always had TV in the house. So I paid for my own TV subscription as an adult for several years. It never really occurred to me before that it was a choice to pay for cable TV. One day, I decided to cancel my subscription and eliminate it from my daily life. After doing so, I found that my quality of life had significantly improved. Not only was I saving $100 a month, which was great, but I had much more time to do more important things. I didn't just sit in front of the TV because I was bored looking for something remotely interesting to watch. In this way, elimination improved my life without sacrificing anything in return. Remember, through elimination, we are moving toward the broad concept of simplicity that I discussed at the beginning of this video. I urge you to now make a list of things in your life you can either eliminate or automate in order to simplify your life. Life is filled with randomness and important decisions that must be made every day. Many of the decisions that we make are so complex that we end up making the wrong choice a lot of times. The more we can simplify things, the more likely we are to make the right choice. I am sure you have noticed that when you focus on just a few things, you tend to do much better than when you have many many things to do. We can apply the concept of simplification in other ways to decision making, specifically under uncertain conditions. For example, we can ignore the extremely improbable events in life. Things like being in a plane crash, winning the lottery, etc. are so improbable that they are really not even worth thinking about. If you want to be practical, the best thing to do is to ignore the highly unlikely events. But we have to be careful here. When I say highly improbable, I mean the events for which we have enough evidence and reasoning behind why they are improbable. For example, we already know that 
the probabilities of being in a plane crash or winning the lottery are very very small but probabilities such as probability of a severe financial crisis oftentimes are more likely than we would tend to think these things cannot be accurately predicted so we cannot say that a severe economic crash is improbable enough to ignore it to summarize simplification is an invaluable tool in life to simplify life we need to minimize the number of decisions we are making on a daily basis. We can do this through both automation and elimination, and in doing so, we can improve our decision making significantly. Also, we can ignore the extremely improbable events in order to make decisions more quickly and efficiently. Without doing this, we would think about all of the things that could possibly go wrong, which would lead us being essentially paralyzed and unable to make a rational decision. Try these concepts out for yourself. Try to be more conscious of where in your life you could eliminate or automate certain decisions. You'll notice how much easier your life could be. Thank you for watching.